Hello. Today we're gonna learn about the pastel drawing in the realistic style. Make your rose. I, I ask you to draw a rose and make it as much as possible large. Remember with the pastel as much as we have more space it's gonna be easier for us. You can use of the color uh, paper or you can like me use of the pastel and make it I, I ask I wanted to um, my rose be my focal point and I made all over this black and uh, for the pastel it's almost look like the color pencil my color for the rose was uh, pinkish colors then I'm gonna use of the a series of the dark to light red and I'm using of the uh, purple and violet. Start for, with the dark colors, I'm using of the purple, violet and when I'm coming closer to the next petal, I make it lighter with the uh, red and on top of this, I like to make my pink then i'm using of the red and on top of this i'm using the uh, a, a white pa pastel you can blend it with the some tools like a blending tools for the pan pastel or a stamp or your finger one by one of these uh, petals you're gonna add the first layer that they are purple again violet i'm using of the alizarin red that it's a dark red and in top of this white then each of them you have to make the same almost the same colors it's a first layer and we're just making the general colors that we see here and we're blending the colors with the, again your finger or a stump or any other blending tools that you have like color uh, pencil we are not using of just one color one pink to create our layers it's a layering of the different colors uh, that we blend these pigments to each other remember that the pastel is almost just pigment and um, the same pigment that we have in the other media but this is mostly you can feel the pigment and uh, very pure pigments we have in the pastel. Again, first light layer is mostly about general light and dark that we are seeing. You need to have a workable pastel spray in the when we finish with the first layer and we want to add the uh, more bright colors and we want to add more details we're gonna use of our spray the spray doesn't let that the colors blend together very easily
I think I, I, I use of the picture on um, Google for drawing the rose and after I finish it I, and I uh, close my computer I forget that where I found it if I found the picture I'm gonna post it for you uh, the colors that you see doesn't have to be exactly the colors that you see on the flower be more creative to have your set of the colors the eyes of the rose or the center of this is important because it's the center of the attention then make more contrast in this area uh, the dark let it be darker the lights let it be lighter Okay, almost I'm finished with the first layer of the rose and I'm gonna start to with the spray when you're spraying it don't get very close to your paper almost about the maybe 20 inches uh, having you know a space between your uh, spray and drawing and uh, let it have two coats of the spray and let it get dry for a few minutes then start working on this i started with the stamp and i went just exactly around the uh, flower and making a better edges for that ones in the second part or second uh, you know steps i'm using of the more colors for the darker area i'm gonna add ultramarine ultramarine blue and for the lighter area not only i'm using of the pink colors that it's a uh, my violet and white instead of the red and white this part but i'm using some yellowish colors uh, for the um, some part that I have a lot of the light and it can help me to uh, show more reflection of the lights on the flower. Then you see that the dark part is going to be deeper dark and light part that they are next to it because of the contrast and because we are using of the more white and more yellow on this uh, it's gonna show the better contrast again Just I use of the blue, I started using of the blue in the shadow part, in the deep sh shadow part. Define some some of the shape with your dark and light. Some petals they're showing themselves uh, in a very nice four lit shape. This 
this is the part that I'm starting to adding yellow yellow and purple they are complementary colors and when we are using of them in the same painting the contrast gonna be more and as you see i'm when i'm creating the drawing uh, i don't have enough time i have to make a lot of the videos these days then you can take your time and make it very very better than me each petal that you're working on this remember next to the part that you have a dark when you want to start next petal start with the contrast You see for showing each petals we need again contrast each of them the dark part of a one petal, petal is next to the light part of the petal in the next row and some part that we have a shadow we're gonna add the shadow try that make all of the um, drawing more smooth less textury for the realistic one this realistic one because the petals are very smooth
Exaggerating the dark part is always make your drawing stand out. The blue part is the part that I have a shadow of the other petals on the lower petals. I want to have some green things around my uh, rose. Then after this step, I'm gonna add some using of the dark green and coming with the not detaily shape of the uh, leaves, just some abstract shape of them with the dark green and a little of the light green on top of this. Uh, and after that, I'm done. You can continue on this and adding more details uh, to that.